when Houston was hot, it mm-hmm. seemed like a lot of the major rappers were beefing with each other. Some examples, Paul Wall and um, Chameleonaire, Chameleonaire, uh, Trader Truth, Mike Jones. Um, why was that? I'm from a different place about beef. Where I'm from, beef means something else. So what Paul Wall and Chameleonaire and them, man, they, to me, they just had um, disagreements. You know what I'm saying? They just, in, that ain't really beef. Where I'm from, beef, beef is, yeah, it's beef. You know what I'm saying? This is serious. You know what I'm saying? So it was just different. So really, this is our first time. We all from an independent, we all self-made millionaires. We all really self-made. And this was the first time that hip hop was really shining the light on the city. And it was, and it was starting to become big. So a lot of the perceptions that people were hearing, they were misperceptions. They wasn't that major. Like the Mike Jones and Trey Beef, really, it's just over some. Well, if I told you it was over, you'd just be like, really, this over. Uh, somebody saying they got the first something on the first car. It's just bull. You know, it ain't really beef. Like, I'm gonna, I'm hiding and my crew gonna shoot your crew. So it's not really, wasn't really beef like that. It wasn't beef like Tupac and Biggie or something, like some national coat. It just was, you know, and it blew over easy. All these people right back. Cool and what at. Where I'm from, beef it lasts forever. You know what I'm saying? So these people back cool. It was just a city thing. And to be honest, man, the city as a whole wasn't, I don't think, ready for that because we were so used to being independent. Like we make hundreds and hundreds of thousands, man, without radio or TV. We don't need radio or TV to survive where we at, you know what I'm saying, in our state. So that whole light being shedded on us as a whole, it just was opening up doors to other stuff. They were seeing everything about us. You know, that's like J and B right now. They can't hide with nothing. They in the elevator. We don't get no, that's, that's all it was. It just, the light hit the city and everything. All the roaches, I was all over the floor. That's all it was when the light turned on. It wasn't that major. What would you take on T.I. and Lil Flip's uh, situation? Um... Flip, not taking no sides, city or no city. I love my city, I rep my city, but this is the thing that I wish. I wish Flip would have stayed more like a Kirko right now from 15 to 25. You know, he was getting so much money like that. He was a young kid getting so much. I just think the gangster approach that he took, it kind of backfired against him because we didn't look at him in that kind of light. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong, like, this serious though. Like, T.I. came to the city and came in the neighborhood and everything, but it didn't go what he liked, what he thought. You know what I'm saying? Like, we we feeling what you're saying, but they wasn't. it wasn't just gonna go like that. You know what I'm saying? So it went both ways. So the whole thing about it, it was, uh, I felt it too. I felt like Stip Flip kind of, jumped outside of his character going into some gangster stuff or whatever that he you know he probably could have stayed in this lane and wouldn't happen and also on the ti side of it i felt like ti no matter how much we love you and believe you, you're not gonna be able to come to the city and do that you know what i'm saying like for instance the whole texas may be riding with us against something i mean the whole atlanta may be riding with texas or something that ti said but i don't think that we can get in the car and go to bankhead and kick his ass and nothing like that. So that's what a misconception got. I think when T.I. decided to, he was getting some, some, some leap, some, you know, some, some respect from some other dudes in the neighborhood. But that's where, that, that was the only thing about it with me. Both of them kind of played parts in it that didn't go right. Flip kind of jumped into a lane and went to going back. And I think T.I. was trying to befriend him or something and it kind of went the wrong way. And Flip kind of went gangster with it. So I looked at it like that. But on the flip side of it, you know, it's kind of like your brother. You're like on some shit, like, I know you did wrong, but I'm not gonna let you go around the corner and get beat up, you know, by everybody. You know what I'm saying? You can fight your own battle. So it kind of went like that. It kind of, I'm kind of glad it's over because I love T.I. and the flip from the city. And it just was, uh, you know, it went the wrong way a little bit. It seemed like Flip didn't regain his level of popularity after the, the T.I. situation. Why do you think that is? Because I, that's what I was the point I was making. I just think he went over to a whole lane of people that like it's, it's like it's like this. I heard him talking about some battle rap like before I got it. Like my city, we're far from battle rappers. Like we ain't not into that at all. See, and it's just like it's like me going to do a battle rap right now. You know what I'm saying? Like. I just have no type of battle rap skills at all. You know what I'm saying? I just jump into a whole new level and lane 
and just and that, that and 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 putting myself in this lane and now I want to be a battle rapper and I have absolutely no fans here. You know what I'm saying? To support what I'm gonna do. Like for instance, I sold a million records independent. The way I'm able to still do it is because I really cater to the street, my street fans. I don't I haven't turned to a battle rapper. I have no fans there. So I kinda think flip popularity sorta because of he was in a new lane of music. Like T.I. was already on this side of music, trapping, gangster, and we was on that. Like for instance, Kurt Cobain, he has a nice crowd of from 15 to 20, he's still there. When he go to his shows, they still there from young, 18, 19, which is great. Now as he get older, there's no, t like for instance, you know, I used to be like Soldier Boy, Bow Wow, you know how, we just never expected them to get grown. You know, like when Bow Wow got grown, it was like, Bow Wow grown? Damn. You know what I'm saying? Like we, they we, they was in it for so long from kids, and that's how it kind of was with us with Flip. Flip was in it from 13 or 14. This is the way we ball. Sunshine, he had a younger crowd. So I think some of his shine probably went away because the new level of audience that he was being in front of, we never looked at him like that. And people be thinking, this is not a diss or nothing. It's, it's the same way with like I'm telling. That's why I used it for example. There's no way I would wake up tomorrow and make a battle rap album. Start calling murder mooks and cassidies, and I, I don't have no idea how to do that. You know what I'm saying? So I just think that if I'd done the same thing, it'd probably happen to me too.